Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. Today, we're gonna have some fun by painting this beautiful iris flower together. As my good friend Bob Ross says, every day is a good day when you paint. So let's get started and don't forget to subscribe. To get started, first we need our drawing of this iris on watercolor paper. So if you haven't watched it yet, go back and watch my short five minute tutorial on how to draw this by clicking the link above or at the end of this tutorial. We only need two brushes today, a medium sized round brush and a small round brush for details and small spaces. A clean glass of water, a paper towel, watercolor paints, mine are already mixed with water and ready to go. For my colors, I have orange brown, yellow, light green, dark green, light pink, dark pink, which is the same light pink with a touch of purple added, and purple. For our first step, we're going to wet our brush and paint this first section with water only. Then we'll go back in and add some light pink color and let it spread. Now the trick to this particular painting is not working the paint too much. Push the paint to the edges a little bit, but just let the paint spread how it wants to. In the end, you'll get a very interesting and unique look. Now just repeat that process on the next petal. Also as a side note, we will be jumping around a little bit on this painting so that each section has time to dry before we paint right next to it. Now let's start to paint some of the petals below using the same method as before, but this time we will use the dark pink and then we'll add just a touch of purple to the top and bottom areas of this petal. Just push your paint to the edges of the petal, but remember to let the paint spread how it wants to. Next, let's paint the inner parts of the flower, but make sure your petals right next to this are completely dry first. Start by painting some yellow over the area, and then dab a bit of your orange-brown color just to the base and let it spread upward. If you want to, you can even add just a hint of pink at the bottom of this section while the paint is still wet. Now let's go back to the top petals and finish them off. Same as before, paint the section with water first, then add some dark pink and purple. This time, we want the darkest coloring to be on the innermost part of the petal so that there will be a good contrast in value to the previous paint. After your paint is covering the middle and right side area, take a clean dry brush and push some paint to the edge of the left side. You'll want the paint on this edge to be fairly light in value. Next, finish off painting the top far right petal by painting dark pink with a touch of purple. When those two sections are dry, let's paint the petal in the background using the same techniques as before. This petal should be the darkest in value of all the top three petals. To make it darker, just add a little more purple than the previous petals had. Now let's paint the remaining bottom petal the same as before. Water first, then add dark pink to the majority of the petal, and add some purple to the tops and bottoms. Then use a clean dry brush to push the paint to the edges. Thank you. 
Now let's quickly finish off the bottom far right petal using mostly purple with just a touch of pink. And for our final touch, let's paint the beards of the iris with yellow as the base color and a touch of orange brown. Now that the main iris is complete, let's paint the two buds. These again will be painted the same as we've done before. Paint with water, add some dark pink to the center, add purple off to the left side, and use a clean dry brush to spread some color to the right. If you feel like it needs it, add some extra purple at the base of the bud. Now we're ready to paint the blades of grass. Start by painting some of the light green color and then add some dark green here and there while it's still wet. Then spread the paint clear to the bottom and using a paper towel, dab off a bit of color at the base to fade it out. Continue the same process on the other blades, painting every other one so they won't blend into each other. When you're ready to paint the remaining grass blades, make sure any paint that is right next to them are dry. And for these blades of grass, I'm using just the light green to give it a bit of variety. When you're ready to paint the stems of the flowers, I recommend also using mostly the light green with maybe just a touch of the dark green in a few places to give it a bit of shadow and dimension. Well done. Now if you want to be done with your painting at this point, you can, or if you feel like adding a tiny bit of extra detail to your painting, then take your small thin brush and lightly paint a few veins on your flower petals, your buds, and your grass blades. If you're feeling brave and you choose to do this, here's a tip to help keep your lines thin. After you dip your tip of your brush in the paint, then lightly dab it onto your paper towel to take off any excess paint. Also, don't overdo the veins by painting too many of them. A few of them go a long way. And here is your beautiful hand-painted iris. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you check out more of my tutorials and don't forget to like and subscribe so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.